this video is going to be about the place of refuge. That's why I called my channel on YouTube the place of refuge because of a series of dreams that I had to let that led me to this area. And I'm going to read the account now exactly as I wrote it at the time. A factual account of my dreams. <clears throat> While staying in the home of some friends in Bethel Springs, Tennessee, I awoke in the early morning hours of November 1st, 1998. I prayed to God in a very sincere <clears throat> and heartfelt way to show me where the people of God, believers in Jesus, should, could go. I desired to find a place of refuge where the land would be both cheap and good. I fell asleep and dreamed of two doorways. On the right there was a sign that read nursery. I then woke up. I fell asleep again and dreamed the word Wellington and then woke up. I fell asleep again for the third time and saw a man who said I worked in Bottle Creek. I then woke up. I thought to myself, where are these places? I fell asleep for the fourth time and saw the word Texas. I then woke up and did not go to sleep again. I had not been thinking about Texas, nor would I have given it any serious consideration. When my wife Rachel awoke in the morning, I told her about the dreams. When I got up in the morning, I first told one of my friends about the dreams. But I did not tell her the third dream about Bottle Creek as it seemed too specific and I did not believe that it existed. We got a road atlas and looked up Wellington, Texas. And there it was to our surprise. My other friend read about the area in the encyclopedia, but it did not sound favorable. Since it was close to Interstate 40, I decided to go there on the way home to Arizona. We went to Wellington and found a large farming area of cheap land. Later in Arizona, I thought, why don't I look up nursery in the road atlas? To my amazement, there it was, close to Victoria, Texas. I then decided to go to the library and use the internet to see if there were names of bodies of water in the U.S. I looked this up under U.S. Geological Survey and found that there were creeks named Bottle Creek, but none in Texas. I saw that there was one in Tillman County, Oklahoma, close to Wellington, Texas, 81 miles southeast, and found that it started between Frederick and Davidson, Oklahoma, being about seven miles long, a very short distance from the Texas border and ran into the Red River that is the border, 3.33 miles east of Highway 183-70, where it crosses the Red River into Oklahoma. I was overcome with fear and joy because I thought only the Lord could have revealed this to me. I made a trip to the Bottle Creek area and found cheap and plentiful farmland. I also went to the nursery area and found that the land was more expensive but good. As I looked at a, a Texas map, I decided to draw lines from place to place because of the angle from Wellington to Bottle Creek that follows the Red River. The lines went on each side of Austin, the capital of Texas. I thought that anywhere within this triangle must be a good place to go. As I studied this area of Texas, it seemed very favorable except for the summer heat. I'll stop reading my account at this point, and you can see the triangle on the map in front of you, and I'll bring it up. <clears throat> I'll point out that it's almost actually part of this triangle is in the center of the United States and in the southern part portion. I'll bring it much closer. Now that white area that I just put in will define it easily for you. You can easily see it. It almost divides Texas in half. This is the Red River 
This is where Bottle Creek ends in the Red River. So it's only 81 miles from this area to this area. It's and I'll read the dimensions on the on these two sides when I get to the end. I want to bring something else in at this point. Later I discovered that if I take this longest line and divide it in half and draw a line across and I take this shorter line and draw a line across there's an area in the center which is very nearly the area that I was shown or that I that in, later on in my in the dream account that I'm going to read about it's slightly smaller but all the sides are almost identical very close to a square the the top one is I think it's it, it might be three miles wider than the bottom but it's, it's very nearly a square. Now I'm going to continue reading my account. On the night of December 20th, 1998, when I went to bed, I prayed that God would show me the exact place to go within this triangle. Sometime in the night or the early morning of December 21st, I dreamed of a vast and beautiful landscape that stretched out before me. There, are very, there were very large trees. I desired it very much, but I didn't know where it was, and it seemed as if no one wanted to tell me. I saw or heard the number 3200 and thought that it might be the acreage. In the next part of the dream, I was in a room with many people, and then saw a woman who said, Father left home and got stung by bees. The next part of the dream took place in what I thought was a corral. There was a wagon bed and on it a cash register tape of all the sales that were made, many hundreds or thousands, I thought. I was asked if I wanted to buy steaks. I knew it was Friday and didn't want to have them delivered on Saturday and have to pay for them. Looking at a map the next morning, I discovered a place called Bee House within the Triangle. After much thought, I decided that the next part of the dream about the corral was showing me that this is a livestock producing area, which it is. Bee House would mark the southern boundary of a large rectangle. The next night I awoke from my sleep and began to think about the 3200. It occurred to me that it must be the 32nd degree latitude line. In the morning when I checked it on the map, there it was, the very next latitude line north of Bee House. Okay, I'm going to stop with my account and add those lines. So the bottom line is the beat comes across the area as B as B House, Texas. And the top line marks the top line to define the area. This series of dreams, actually it was just one dream divided into three parts. And I want to point out that it complemented perfectly the first dream. The first dream was four separate dreams in the morning that defined the large triangle and the next dream that had three parts defined the area within the, the triangle, a rectangle within a triangle. And as I said before, this area that I'm show that I showed you here within it 
I got that by dividing this line in half and this line in half and just drawing across. So I'm going to take that out right now. I discovered that much later. So this is the actual area here defined as the refuge. I'll try to I'll get that up a little closer for you now. Okay, now I'm going, and I also want to point out that in this account, I said in the dream that I saw very large trees. And this is important because when I came to this area and bought the property that I now have, across the street from me are large pecan trees, native pecan trees, huge, that take two people or more to put their arms around them and extending up a hundred or more feet tall. Now I'm going to continue with my reading. In the evening of December 31st, I prayed that God would finish this by letting me find a place in this area. That night I dreamed I saw a map of the United States and I was frantically searching for the right place. I saw a star over this area, and when I got close to it, it seemed to move or twinkle. I knew then, in the dream, that I had found the right place. The center of the large triangle is close to the center of the smaller rectangle, and very close to being the center of the USA from east to west. By that, I'm going to stop now and explain this. By that, I mean, if I draw 